tough one that. We've had a few additions this year, so um, I think purely for, just because of his goals, I think I'm going to have to go LJ. I'll give him that one. I think he deserves that. Absolutely. Although the new players are looking good, so he might get caught up. So Liam Jackson would be a best player. Sorry, yeah, Liam Jackson. Yeah. So you've got to go on who's really had the uh, three quarter lengths the most, really. I mean, that is the poor Phipps, the worst trainer, so probably going to have to give it to Sam Applegate. Um, closely, closely touched by Mac G. He has had it a couple of times, yeah. So that could change halfway through the season, depends who you get next. Um, who do I think is most likely? I'd probably say, just because of how his brain works, um, probably Harry Barker. He's more than likely to go into it. He's a teacher already, so he's got that thing in him. I, can, I can't really see anyone else. I've spoke to a few people about it sort of thing before, and they've just not been interested. So Harry Barker seems a logical one for me. I'd say. Um, I mean, you can't really get away from him, to be honest. He's like a leech, so... It has to be Sam Applegate. He's just there all the time. The change room is bouncing because of him. To be fair, we'd be, we'd be lost without him, to be honest. But, yeah, he's the joker. He's an idiot, to be honest. Oh. See... See, Sam Watts moves. Really, for a big guy, he moves well quick. But, Jaden is ridiculously quick, so that's got to be him, I'm afraid. He, the pace he shows in games and training is frightening. I sometimes just try and stay away from him just so I don't get embarrassed. <laughs> so we ain't got a lot of them. <laughs> um, God, best dress. I think this is out of default, to be honest. I think I'm going to have to go Sam Watts. He's probably the best dress, I'd say. Ma ma Hayden Davis is style is just not me, so probably Sam Watts. Uh, yeah, that, no one else has really got anything. None of us have, to be honest. Okay, yeah. the absolute no drama is that one. Andy Easto is the worst dress. <laughs> At, closely, closely followed by uh, Harry Barker. He's got a very strange dress dressing taste, to be honest. But it's definitely Andy Easto. He thinks he looks good, but he actually looks terrible, so. <laughs> I've known this guy for so long. He came to Nigel a couple of years ago, a year ago. Jack Harrell is unbelievable. You will stand there neck to neck, what good points with him, and he will literally just drown you into the floor, to be honest, and he won't even look like he's been touched. He is an absolute warrior. Closely followed by, by Andy, though. He, is, he does go for it, but Jack is someone else. Uh, see, I've got a couple. This one always does actually really annoy me, to be honest. When someone, obviously it's our changing room, we get changed in there, we get dressed in there after, and it really, really infuriates when people bang their boots on the floor. That is just, that really, really grinds me, and, and then I'm always part of the one who's moaning because I'm always having to go at people. So that is probably my most annoying one. But also, when you're in the shower, and people like Sam Applegate will come along, being the joke really is, and they'll have a water bottle that's filled with cold water, and you have a lovely shower, and it will just lob it straight on you. That also really irritates me. It shouldn't do, it should be funny, but that really is annoying. So, yeah. For God's sake. Well, well, it's me, really, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter who you ask here, it's going to be me. Which is actually horrible to be honest. I didn't want to vote myself, but it's definitely me. I, it's, I'm not moody, it's just I'm moaning about being moody, so I'm obviously <laughs> moody. Yes, me. Mm. Sam Applegate's got a good chance. Doing well for 21s at the minute. Training well. Um, but I really like James Dickerson. I really do. I've watched him play a few times, played for him a couple of times. He just listens, to be honest. He takes on knowledge well. I wouldn't say he's the best trainer in the world. He does a really shine through training, but I've seen him in games and he does put it in and he knows where he's got to be, so if it isn't Sam Applegate, it is James Dixon. Great. 
there's a lot of expired hair, hair dudes in there, so, I mean, I reckon, maybe Harry Barker, just because he's got the waves, no one else really does anything to their hair, I mean, Sean Wojcic's hair is pretty tight all the time, to be fair, for a, for a guy who's a little bit older, he actually looks unbelievable for his age, so, him or Harry Barker, De probably Harry Barker though, because he's got the Alice band and whatever else, so yeah. Uh, to be honest, neither of them back, back to Andy Easto, Sam Watts. I, I couldn't think of two people I'd rather come against, to be honest. They would absolutely eat me alive. And I've got no shame in saying that, and they'll absolutely love that, but they will. I would come off that pitch with black and blue, and they would be smiling and laughing about it. They are two horrible, horrible men. On the pitch. On the pitch. <laughs> Off the pitch. Absolutely love the blokes. On the pitch. Horrible. Um, as part of the Fives team, this is quite this is quite easy one for me. Liam Jackson is the worst player in the club ever since I've known him. We chase him and chase him and chase him and you get nothing for weeks and weeks. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll get it to you. Yeah, I'll get it to you. No matter how much you push, I can't physically take the money from him. So you literally just push and push and eventually you'll get the odd 20 quid. So he's actually owed about 60, but you'll get 20 quid every now and then. So yeah, I, I mean, in terms of buying around, I don't know, but I'm going purely on fines. That's definitely the Jackson. Um, I'd like to go for Andy Easton. 